Hi, welcome to the Magnum Steno Club. I'm Mark Kisslingbury, and this is an instructional video entitled Mark Writing. The reason I wanted to show you this video is twofold. First, I wanted you to show how slow my fingers move even when writing a super fast, super dense literary. And secondly, I wanted to show you my steno notes as I'm writing the same thing so that you could see them appear promptly to show that I was right next to the speaker as close to the speaker as I could possibly be. All right? So first, we will do the finger movement, and I want you to watch that. I will be writing the literary that we practiced on September 28th that was the inaugural address. Ready? Ready? Begin. Without solicitation on my part, I have been chosen by the free and voluntary suffrages of my countrymen for the most honorable and responsible office on earth. I am deeply impressed with gratitude for the confidence reposed in me, honored with this distinguished consideration at an earlier period of my life than any of my predecessors. I cannot disguise the diffidence with which I am about to enter upon the discharge of my official duties. If the more aged and experienced men who have filled the office of presidency of the United States, even in the infancy of the Republic, distrusted their ability to discharge the duties of that exalted station, what ought not to be the apprehensions of one so much younger and less endowed, now that our domain extends from ocean to ocean, that our people have so greatly increased in numbers, and at a time when so great diversity of opinion prevails in regard to the principles and policy which should characterize the administration of our government, well may be the boldest fear and the wisest tremble when incurring responsibilities on which may depend our country's peace and prosperity, and in some degree the hopes and happiness of the whole human family. In assuming responsibilities so vast, I fervently invoke the aid of that almighty... Okay, I hope there you could see that my fingers were moving very slowly. And also, there's not a whole lot of wasted motion in my finger movement. I assume that that's a gift, not that I developed it myself, but that's just the way I've always written, I suppose. You may want to look at your fingers and see how they move and see if you're doing too much effort. You want to have a machine with a very short stroke so that you don't have to use much effort. All right, let me focus in here on the steno notes, which is what we're going to watch. And I'm going to do that same take again. Okay, I think I have it lined up pretty well now. Let me move the mic over and get the dictation ready. Please be patient here. Let me remind you guys, I'm doing another inaugural address, and this is of James K. Polk, because the inaugural dresses are so um, dense. All right. Are you all ready? Now this time, watch the notes, and watch how closely I stay on the speaker. They're good practice. Ready? Begin. Without solicitation on my part, I have been chosen by the free and voluntary suffrages of my countrymen for the most honorable and responsible office on earth. I am deeply impressed with gratitude for the confidence reposed in me, honored with this distinguished consideration at an earlier period of my life than any of my predecessors. I cannot disguise the diffidence with which I am about to enter upon the discharge of my official duties. If the more aged and experienced men who have filled the office of presidency of the United States, even in the infancy of the Republic, distrusted their ability to discharge the duties of that exalted station, what ought not to be the apprehensions of one so much younger and less endowed, now that our domain extends from ocean to ocean, that our people have so greatly increased in numbers, and at a time when so great diversity of opinion prevails in regard to the principles and policy which should characterize the administration of our government, well may be the boldest fear and the wisest tremble when incurring responsibilities on which may depend our country's peace and prosperity, and in some degree the hopes and happiness of the whole human family. In assuming responsibilities so vast, All I right. fervently invoke the aid of that almighty rule. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. It should encourage you to shorten your writing, to especially work hard on briefs. Because the reason I was able to write that is it was like a jury charge to me. Because almost all the words in there I had one stroke for, plus a whole lot of phrases. And it made it just as easy as a 2.30 jury charge, because we're used to the terminology. Well, all that terminology I've become used to because I worked hard on my briefs. And that allowed my fingers to be able to move relatively slowly or about the speed of a normal, regular 
experienced court reporter. Let me know if you like this video. I hope it encourages you. And I look forward to seeing you later, super reporters. Bye-bye.